waters will dry out in the river beds. And over the place of his burial might rise a forest or a city, and some star will disappear in the heavens far away before this land may gather all its sap and rise it inside another lily with the power of his perfumes. Thus wrote literary historian Giorgio Calinesco about Mihai Eminescu. My name is Daniel Ionita, and this fourth session of Romanian poetry in English is dedicated indeed to the grand writer of Romanian literature. To give you a vague idea, Eminescu occupies in uh, Romania a similar place to that of Lois de Camões in Portugal, or perhaps William Shakespeare in the English-speaking world. 15th of January 1850 to 15th of June 1889, Eminescu lived 39 years. He was a poet, novelist and journalist, regarded as the most important writer in uh, Romania. His influence on Romanian literature and language is deeply engraved in the national psyche. He is by far the best known Romanian writer outside Romania, his work having been translated in over 60 languages. Calinescu labels him the national poet. Historian Nicolae Iorga considers Eminescu an integral expression of the Romanian soul, while philosopher Constantin Noica describes him as the complete man of Romanian culture. Influential foreigners uh, who had the privilege of reading felicitous translations of his work have also extolled his universal credentials. For example, noted Italian literature comparatist Rosa del Conte in her work Eminesco the Absolute writes Essentially, Eminescu gave expression to the basic rhythm of the whole creation. Fluidity and solidity, opacity and transparency, life and death, hence his universality. While noted French literary critic Alain Guillermo, in his monograph entitled La Genèse Intérieure de Poésie d'Eminescu, says that in his view, the Eminescu miracle never runs the risk of extinguishing its resources. Now, Eminescu's universality did not receive perhaps the acknowledgement it deserved for reasons I spoke about in the first session, that of Romania's position geographically and culturally, perhaps even politically, in Europe. However, Every Romanian, at least of my generation and, and older, would be able to recite by heart whole poems, or sometimes perhaps just parts of poems, but something at least of uh, Eminescu. But he had played perhaps an even more pervasive role, uh, that of transforming the Romanian la language much as Shakespeare is credited to, to have done to, to the English language. That was due to both Eminescu's notoriety, uh, but also his exceptional use of neologisms in all of his writings. And that happened at a crucial moment in Romania's history, uh, the dawn of the modern era, uh, when the country was trying to find its national identity. His influence was pervasive first because of the many imitators. There were many, many poets who, who wrote in his, uh, in his manner, who then influenced others and so on. Then, for decades after his death, uh, until early in the 20th century, many magazines, literary magazines, uh, for example, Contemporano, the contemporary, a famous one, published only in the manner of Eminescu, whether it was the poetry they cho chose for publishing, or uh, articles, or literary criticism, uh, all of it was in the fashion of Eminescu. Finally, get this. 
the last 100 years or so raised hordes of eminescologists, that is, people who dedicate their lives to the work, to studying the work of Eminesco, and mostly praising it. Now, this is a ridiculous notion, I know, and it highlights, highlights a problem uh, which Eminescu's work um, represents, perhaps because of this. Because, in the words of the doyen of Romanian literary critics, Nicolae Manolescu, Eminescu's work finds itself in a dangerous position, that of just being subject to hagiography. Uh, being almost impossible to be submitted to serious criticism, and that represents a danger. Because, for example, in 1996, in a noted uh, literary journal, Dilemma, a couple of unknown at the time young writers wrote an incendiary article denigrating Eminescu. Now, Dilemma did not see any dilemma, seized upon the scandal value and published the article. What followed was a big scandal indeed, which spilled well beyond uh, literary circles and into the society at large. Such is the pervasiveness of Eminescu's work uh, in the national psyche. Whether they wanted to shock or indeed they felt the need to move on from the shadow of the great oak, uh, we don't know. But there has been a lot of angry ink uh, flowing on uh, from that time onwards. Some of them recanted their position and so on and so forth, but it did create a major upheaval. Now, Manolesco argues cogently against each of their complaints. However, he is worried by the vehemence of the public response to these iconoclasts. They were labeled as traitors, dirty traitors, and nothings, immoral feces, or even being part of some international, international conspiracy by the Russians or the Jewish Masons against, or both, against uh, the Romanian culture. They were considered blasphemers and worthy of death by a large proportion of Romanian society, literary figures and ordinary people alike, and not just in Romania, but also in the Republic of Moldova, who has Eminescu as their na national poet as well. Manolescu ponders that if Eminescu is no longer a human being, if he has become some kind of an untouchable god, then how useful are gods to a culture? The first genuine critical analysis of Eminescu's work in the last 70 years has been that of literary critic and historian Alex Stefanescu, and he presents a far more balanced approach. On the one hand, Stefanescu gives a coherent um, example or examples uh, of Eminescu's genius. He does so in expert fashion, as only he can. Uh, on the other hand, he doesn't shy away from dealing with the weak parts, uh, perhaps in Eminescu's earlier poems. Uh, thus, Stefanescu presents to us an authentic person. Uh, Eminescu as a real human of flesh and blood, without denying his genius, on the contrary, enhancing it, I believe, but in a rational way, not with some kind of twisted religious fervor like the Eminescologists. For Romanian readers, I warmly recommend Stefanescu's uh, volume Eminescu poem by poem, Eminescu poem cu poem. I hope that someday someone will translate it in English. Stefanescu concludes poignantly, and this is also my conclusion, it is not Eminescu who is dated, he says. It is us who still need to catch up. But I'll let you make up your own minds. In this session I'll recite a couple of his poems, maybe three even, for you. I'll start with Gloss, a poem in which Eminescu displays his virtuosity, much as Paganini does in his Caprice number 24, if you like. Then 
I'll change register to one of his one of his famous sonnets, Gone Gone Are the Years. And we'll finish with Ode in an Antique Meter. Something entirely different again. Just to present to you three different facets of this uh, great uh, Romanian poet. As usual, I'll uh, read all three poems to you in English first, one after the other, and then after a short pause, um, the poems in Romanian. I hope you enjoy them as much as I do. Mihai Eminescu, Gloss. Time is passing, time comes yet. All is old and all is new. What for good or ill is set, you can ponder and construe. Do not hope and do not worry. What's a wave will wave away, though enticing with a flurry cold remain to all they say. Many things pass by before us, many things we hear and see. Who remembers all their ruckus? Who would listen to their plea? You sit calmly round the edges. Find yourself despite their threat. While you hear their noisy pledges, time is passing, time comes yet. Not inclining in expression the cold balance of our thinking to a moment, an impression, masks of happiness now sinking, of their own death notwithstanding, take one lonely breath for you. But for him whose understanding, all is old, and all is new. Entertained by actors playing in this world you self-depict. Though four roles one is portraying, his true face you can predict. If he weeps, or if he's fighting, you just watch him without fret and deduce from his inciting what for good or ill is set. Past and future go together the two faces of a coin. You can tell tomorrow's weather if you know the two to join. All that was and all that follows, in this moment we see true. On their false and empty hollows you can ponder and construe. The same means this world is using to constrain in all she fashions and for thousand years suffusing joy and sadness duly rations. The other masks, the same old drama. Other mouths, the same old story. Discontent in their conformance, do not hope and do not worry. Do not hope because some cretin wrestles to successes daily. Idiots will have you beaten, though you show them off already. Have no fear if, when they gather, ostentatious they display. Don't resemble them, don't blather. What's a wave will wave away. Like some charming siren calling this world's luring and inviting. Other actors, when they're falling, it wants you to do their fighting. Move aside, it's just deception. Pass them by, away you scurry. From your path, make no exception, though enticing with a flurry. Should they touch you, get some distance. Should they curse you, keep your polish. Why advise and show persistence when you know they just demolish? Let them blather on forever, doesn't matter what they say. Don't grow fond of them. Be clever. Cool remain to all they say. Cool remain to all they say, though enticing with a flurry. What's a wave will wave away. Do not hope and do not worry. You can ponder and construe what for good or ill is set. All is old and all is new. Time is passing. Time comes yet. Gone are the years. Gone are the years, long clouds across the plain, and never would I witness them return. They charmed me then, but I no longer yearn for tales and songs and riddles. 
all in vain. Where childhood thoughts would joyfully abide, barely discerned, now full of deep discerning, for your cool shadows are no longer burning, O oh, time of mystery at eventide. To wrest some sound from life forever past, to try my soul for you again to quiver, in vain my hand across the strings is skimming. The gleam of youth away forever cast, spent the sweet murmur that would once deliver, while now time grows behind me, I am dimming. Ode in an Antique Meter I never conceived that I'd learn how to die. Forever young, cloaked in my mantle, mine eyes I arose dreamily to the star of loneliness. When unexpectedly you glimpsed in front of me, along my path, oh, anguish, even you, achingly sweet, down to the dregs I drank the lusciousness of death, implacable. Dismal I burn alive, tortured like Nessus, like Hercules infected by his garment. My fire to extinguish I cannot with all the sea's deep waters. From my old, own dream, consumed I groan and sob. On my own stake I am melting in the flames. Can I renew from it, irradiant, like the ancient phoenix? Those vexing eyes may perish from my path. Return to my bosom, sad indifference, so that I die serenely, myself, to me restore. Glossa. Vreme trece, vreme vine, toate svec și nouă toate. Ce e rău și ce e bine tu întreabă și s-o coate. Nu spera și nu ai teamă, ce e val, ca valul trece. De te îndeamnă, de te cheamă, tu rămâi la toate rece. Multe trec pe dinainte, în auz ne sună multe, cine ține toate minte și asta să le asculte. Tu așează-te deoparte regăsindu-te pe tine, când cu zgomote de șarte vreme trece, vreme vine. Nici în clinea ei limbă rece acum până a gândirii înspre clipa ce se schimbă pentru masca fericirii, când din moartea ei se naște și o clipă ține poate pentru cine o cunoaște toate zvechi și nouă toate. Privitor ca la teatru, tu în lume să te închipui. Joace unul și pe patru. Totuși tu ghici vei chipul. Și de plânge, de se ceartă, tu în colți petreci în tine și înțelegi din a lor artă ce e rău și ce e bine. Viitorul și trecutul sunt a filei două fețe. Vede în capăt începutul cine știe să le învețe. Tot ce a fost or o să fie în prezent le avem pe toate, dar de-a lor zădărnicie te întreabă și socoate. Căci acelorași mijloace se supun câte există și de mii de ani încoace lumea e veselă și tristă. Alte măști, aceeași piesă. Alte guri, aceeași gamă. Amăgit atât de adese, nu spera și nu ai teamă. Nu spera când vezi mișei la izbândă făcând punte, doar în trece nătărei chiar dă-i fi cu stea în frunte. Teamă n-ai, că tavor iarăși între și să se plece. Nu te prinde lor tovarăși, ce val, ca valul trece. Când cu cântec de sirenă lumea întinde lucii mreje, ca să schimbe actorii în scenă, te momește în vârteje. Tu, pe alături te strecoară. Nu băga nici chiar de seamă din cărarea ta afară. Te te îndeamnă, de te cheamă. 
de te ating, te feri, te feri în lături, de hulesc să taci din gură. Ce mai vrei cu atale sfaturi dacă știi a lor măsură? Zică toți ce vor să zică, treacă în lume cine o trece. Ca să nu îndrăgești nimică, tu rămâi la toate rece. Tu rămâi la toate rece, de te îndeamnă, de te cheamă, ce val cavalul trece, nu spera și nu ai teamă. Te întreabă și socoate ce e rău și ce e bine. Toate vechi și nouă toate, vreme trece, vreme vine. Trecut au anii. Trecut au anii ca nouri lungi, pe șesuri și niciodată n să vie iară. Căci nu mă încântă azi cum mă mișcară povești și doine, ghicitori, resuri, ce fruntea de copil o înseninară, abia înțelese, plină de înțelesuri. Cu atale umbre azi în van mă presuri, o ceas al tainei a sfinții de seară. Să smulg un sunet din trecutul vieții, să fac o suflet ca din nou să tremuri, cu mâna mea în van, pe liră lunec. Pierdut e tot în zarea tinereții și mută-i gura dulce a altor vremuri. Iar timpul crește în urma mea, mă întunec. Odă în metru antică. Nu credeam să învăț a muri vreodată. Purul tânăr, înfășurat în manta ochii mei înălțam visători la steaua singurătății. Când deodată tu răsăriși în calemi, suferință tu dureros de dulce, până în fund băui voluptatea morții neîndurătoare. Jalnic ar de viu chinuit ca Nesus or ca Hercul, Înveninat în haina focul meu al stinge nu pot cu toate apele mării. De-al meu propriu vis mistuit mă vaiet, pe-al meu propriu rug mă topesc în flăcări. Pot să mai reînviu luminos din el ca pasărea Fenix? piară mi ochii tulburător din cale, Vino iar în sân, nepăsare tristă, ca să pot muri liniștit pe mine, mie redomă.